Hi and welcome to Vinex Studio. Today we are going to learn how to create a cool looking portal effect like this using Unity's VFX graph. So if you are totally new to VFX then you should go check out our other video on getting started with VFX graph. And just to make things clear, Unity's VFX graph will work only with URP and HDRP. So if you are using the standard render pipeline then you should use the particle system to get the same effect. So first I'm going to delete this VFX graph from here also. So now let's create a new VFX graph by going to create VFX visual FX and visual FX graph. Let's call this as portal. So after creating a VFX graph you also need to create a VFX game object. So for that right click in your hierarchy and go to visual FX visual FX. Let's call this portal. This portal will have a visual effect component on it. So make sure to drag and drop the portal VFX graph to the asset template property. So now you have a default particle here. So if you double click portal, the visual effect graph editor should open up. And you can stack the graph editor here so that you can preview. Now we don't want the default particle system, so you can just select it and delete it off and then press spacebar or you can right click and say create node and search for empty particle system so this is the empty particle system doesn't have any particles in it so first we are going to add a spawn rate block inside the spawn module so just right click and say create block and search for spawn and we'll say spawn rate okay constant spawn rate and then we'll set the spawn rate to 1000 then under initialize particle increase the capacity to 300 and now say create block and search for circle shape so we are going to search for circle so set position shape arc circle so now your particle should be spawned in a circular shape so under update we want the particle to move from the circumference of the circle towards the center so for that we are going to use a block called confirm to spear so under update just say create block and search for transform to spear and we'll set the spear radius to something small like 0.1 so just click on the downward arrow and set the radius to 0.1 now all your particles are now conformed to a spear that's because you have an infinite lifetime so we want the particles to spawn and die so that new particle can spawn and start moving towards the center so under initialize particle you have to add another block called lifetime so we'll add a random lifetime block for so add lifetime random and set it between 0.1 and 1 so now you got a cool effect where the particles are spawned on the circumference of the circle and slowly moving towards the center now since this is moving at a very fast rate let's just reduce the attraction speed to 1 so that it will start moving slowly and we'll also reduce the stick force something like 5 okay that seems to be good now under the quad particle we'll make sure that it looks like the elongated particles for that the first block that we need it is the set scale right click and say create block search for set scale okay and we'll set the scale to 5 in the y axis and you can see that the particles are not exactly aligned in the direction that we want it to so for that we'll use the orient block so just right click and say create block and under orient there are multiple types of orient blocks so we'll use along velocity so even now the scale in the x y and z seems to be a little larger so we'll just set it to 0.2 in the x and 0.2 in the z and we'll set it to 2 in the Y. So the effect looks much better now. Only thing is the lifetime seems to be large enough so that the particles are going to the center and getting accumulated. So we'll reduce the lifetime even further to 0.6 maybe. So that the longest particle die before it reaches the center. So you can either reduce the lifetime further or you can reduce the attraction speed to 0.5 okay yeah this effect looks much better so for the color we are going to set a block called color over lifetime 
okay now make sure you add set color over lifetime and not add color over lifetime and then just select the color the initial start color can be blue so it totally depends on you like what color you want to use so i'm okay with blue and here i'll end with little whitish blue okay and the alpha values i'll leave it to whatever was set earlier now my portal doesn't look much bright so i'll go back to the color and click on the colors and increase the intensity of it so this looks much brighter and for the other color also i'll increase the intensity okay this is too bright yeah this seems to be okay you can also change how the gradient or the color over lifetime is affecting the particles by changing the color mapping property so you can go to gradient mapped now the gradient color is somewhere between brown and orange so you can just select the blend mode to additive so that it will add both blue and orange and give you a cool looking different effect so you can also change the gradient color if you want like you can also select blue as your gradient color and now your color effect should look much different you can try alpha so you can play around with the settings until you get the required effect that you want so now that the internal part of the portal is completed we need to create a circle around the portal so for that we'll be using an inbuilt effect inside the unity vfx graph which is called heads and sparks system so just go ahead right click go to systems and simple head and spark system so this adds a spark system to it so we're going to modify this to make sure it looks like a circle so first is we need to remove the velocity block because we are not going to move the particle anywhere and we're going to add a circle block okay and we'll keep the radius at the default value so that it's it spawns around the same position as our previous particle system and now increase the rate to maybe 300 and set the capacity also to 300 so now you should get the circle effect only thing is that the turbulence block that this is using is making the particles go inside now to avoid that we are going to add a force in the z direction so you will see that there are two particle systems here one for the base particle and one for the trails so under the trail particle system under update particle we'll add a block for force and we'll set the force to zero in the x and y and we'll set it to two in z so this is great looking cool but we don't want the trail to go this much long so we're going to reduce the lifetime to say 0.1 one yeah that should do or you can increase the lifetime based on your requirement you can just say 0.522 so that will have a little better effect and you can play around with the value depending on which effect is more satisfactory to you and under turbulence we are going to make some changes we are going to set the octaves to 3 uh, which is already set and we'll increase the frequency to 10 okay so it is now evenly distributed so i think we reached at a much better looking portal than what i showed you at the beginning so that's it for the portal tutorial go ahead and try it if you have any questions leave them in the comment box below and we'll be creating many more vfx craft tutorials like this so if you have anything in mind that you want us to create a tutorial on so please leave them in the comment also thank you and see you in the next tutorial